Yeah, so basically it's just oil paint with some medium in it, a little bit of dryer in it. And it's on a watercolor paper that has a sort of uh, plasticized surface. It doesn't absorb the oil and the pigment right away and I can move it. I just like to have a little bit of density and suggestion of space behind these so that it suggests ways to me to begin to build the collage on top. When I first moved to Cleveland, a friend of mine said, you know, the thing you'll find is that Cleveland's small enough that if you want to accomplish something, you can do it and you can find people to work with. And it's big enough that people might hear about what you're doing outside of Cleveland. And I pretty much found that to be true. The urban landscape, the industrial forms, all the stuff that everybody talks about. I was just constantly amazed that I could look one way and see industrial refuse and then look down by the river and see migratory birds or see turtles or whatever kinds of things were happening there. If I connected it to a sort of activism, it was an attitude about what the city looked like uh, or could look like and what design meant. You know, I was experiencing a lot of uh, people whose attitude about the city was that you came in and maybe there was nothing really there worth preserving, so you'd tear it down and put something new in its place, or you would take something old and uh, dress it up in its own clothing, but it would be so dressed up that you didn't recognize its age anymore. It was kind of like a building imitating itself in a way. The pieces I'm working on now are things that I've uh, drawn or designed in the computer that are collage parts. Some of them start with photo imagery like this one did, and then I go through whatever manipulations it seems to need in the computer. Some of the parts are parts that I've drawn and scanned in. I'll print out paint and cut out and collage in. Sometimes I paint directly on the backgrounds. All the work is sort of, I guess, a cynical political edge to it, some sort or the other. Sometimes it's just sort of anti-establishment, and sometimes it's sort of openly political. And if I say political, I don't mean party politics or something like that. It's not about trying to change somebody else's mind. It's about trying to say where you are and put your voice in the conversation. And hopefully, like all politics, if enough voices join together, then, then something does happen. Well, it's not meant to change somebody's mind, although I hope sometimes I might piss them off.